Hey everyone, it's Emmy here from Wild Things Family Forest School. Now today I'm really excited because today we are launching the virtual sunflower growing competition. So every year at Wild Things we do a sunflower growing competition where the children plant a seed, a tiny little seed, there we go, and when it grows as tall as the youngest child in the house, um, they get a certificate from me. So I ask people to send a photo of evidence um, and then I can email you all a certificate. So it's something fun to, to try at home. It's really great for teaching the children about what plants need to grow and um, they need regular attention. So it's a really nice activity to get involved in. So let's get started. Right, what do we need? We need some plant pots. If you don't have a plant pot, you could use a toilet roll. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Or an egg carton to, as your plant pot. We also need some sunflower seeds. And we need pens, or one pen, um, to, lay, to help label the pots. If you've got something like a lollipop stick that you can write on, that would be really good too. And then a spray bottle is useful for keeping the soil moist. If you don't have a spray bottle like this, you can make one out of a milk carton. All you need to do is put some holes in the top and then this around here. you can use this and it means it's particularly good with children so they don't overwater the, um, the soil, which is obviously important. So here are my sunflower seeds and one of the reasons I love doing this activity with young people is it helps them to learn what this seed needs to grow it into a massive plant. So seeds are very much like us. We need sunlight, they need sunlight. We need food, they need food. There's in the form of soil and they need water and we need water. So. It's a good learning. Now, to make your um, pot holder out of a toilet roll, what you need to do is have a pair of scissors and just make a little, a little cut, not too, not too deep, into your toilet roll. And then I'm going to fold it on the cut, so it's on on one edge, and just make my and that that shows me I'm going to make my second cut in a moment. I'm going to open it out and squeeze it the other way and again that shows me where I need to cut my other sections so I'll just make a cut try and keep it the same size so just cutting along those lines now this is a little bit tricky so I'm just going to bend those down to start with so they get used to going down and then you've got to fold them up in a certain way to try and create a nice um, kind of tucked in bit at the bottom. So what I, the best way I, I found to do it is that I'll tuck one in and tuck the other one in so that, that crosses over there. Then this one needs to come ooh, under there. There we go. And then this last one is always the trickiest. Needs to go under there. Have I done it? Oh, I think I've only gone and done it. And so it creates a nice little base like that. And then you can use that as your pot. So that works really well. And here is one we made earlier. And then if you want to use the egg carton, all you need to do is to cut off the lid. And then you can pop that in there and use that as a little bit of a tray. And then you just fill it up and then you can just make your holes and put your seeds in. Now, the really good thing about using either of these two is when you're seedling, when, you're, when your seed has, has grown a little bit into a seedling and it's ready to plant out, you can simply make your hole in the garden wherever you want to put your, um, your seedling and then you can plant the whole thing and the toilet roll and the egg can will decompose. So you don't have to be worrying about handling um, the delicate seedlings so that's really good okay so let's get planting so I've got my pot and I've got some compost 
you simply just fill it up like that and then I'm going to use my little finger and make a hole about an inch deep but don't need to get too technical. I'm going to get one, one seed, I'm only going to put one in here because it needs some room to grow, pop it in and then a little bit more compost over the top. I like to say tuck them in, pop it in there, get the spray, give it a little spray. Okay, now we're doing the egg box version. Bring it up there. And then again, just make a hole and cover it over. Nice and easy. Now when it comes to marking these on, I'm going to get a pen. I'm just going to actually write on this egg box. This is going to just be my sunflower egg box. Now, you don't need to do as many as me, <laughs> but here's my confession. I didn't actually manage to clone a sunflower last year because they all just died. So I'm planting a few um, backups. I'm just going to get my pen and write on here, sun flowers. Okay, so they won't get mixed up with my other seeds. And those ones are ready to be taken indoors to a nice, warm, sunny um, windowsill. So they'll need to be indoors for a little while and when they, the seedlings start shooting up and they start getting a little bit stronger, then you will need to transfer them outside. And to start with, what I would do is just put the whole tray outside for the day and bring them in at night. So it's very important that you don't get them too cold. We've got to wait for, until the soil is warming up nicely. Don't forget to head over to the Wild Things um, Facebook group, the Takeaway Activities. Um, and share photos of you guys planting your sunflowers. We'll check in regularly, maybe every week, see how the seedlings are doing. Um, but again, please keep sending me photos. Um, I love seeing um, how well yours is growing. Um, and when it's as tall as the smallest person in your house, send me a photo with them stood next to it and you'll get your very own um, Wild Things growing certificate. As always, don't forget to like, turn on the no notification bell, hit that big red subscribe button. And why not spread the love with your friends?